Welcome to Peep This Out Reviews with the NK. Stay frosty. Well, it's been a minute since I've been to Pyology, but they've got six brand new premium crusts to choose from right now, and we're going in deep on one of them for today's review. So let's get ourselves set up, shall we? Yes, sir. And as you just saw, it's the handcrafted deep dish pizza here at Pyology. And I got to say, guys, the finished product of everything you just saw prepared looks amazing. I have to admit, there's lots of delicious goodness going on here. But the main star of the show is everything that it is sitting on. And as you guys can see in the very bottom, we got some caramelized edges action going on here. Let me see if I can lift one of these up here, give you an idea. That is heavily caramelized. Wow. Looking beautiful, guys. Looking really, really nice. And as you can see, the dough is rising even more so inside this deep dish pizza. That looks pretty fantastic. As you guys saw during that prep, we've got some olives, we've got some mozzarella cheese, some ricotta, some sausage, oregano, basil, just all kinds of goodies here on the very top. And it's finished off with a light pesto sauce because I'm definitely a fan of that. But I have to admit guys, the thickness is definitely on point. As you guys can see here, it looks really, really great. And as you saw at the very end, they sliced this into six pieces. And I gotta say, this feels very huge in my car right now. A really fantastic presentation. Can't wait to bite into this right now. It's the handcrafted deep dish pizza here at Pyology. Let's peep out this flavor. Yeah, this thing is stacked. And not just because of all the toppings that I got, because of the crust that it sits on. And guys, again, those caramelized edges look really fantastic. Let's dive in. You know, I really love how it's puffed up over those caramelized edges right there, guys. Looking really, really nice. Here we go. It's the handcrafted deep dish pizza at Pyology. Mmm. Mmm. Doughy goodness. Oh, wow. That is thick. You know, what's really grabbing me right away, aside from the nice doughiness of the crust, is the actual light tang that I'm getting from that sauce and all the other ingredients I'm beginning to taste. Heavy garlic on this one, the sausage is beautiful, but guys, the crust is fantastic. Let's keep going. Mmm. Mmm. Nice. As you saw in the initial close-up, the caramelization is heavy on this one. I'm not even gonna wait, guys. I'm going in for that crunch first thing before the first real close-up. Hang on. Mmm. I'm so glad I didn't wait. That is delicious. Get right up on this one, guys. And as you can see, look at how high the dough is right above it. That is not toppings, guys. That is actually part of the crust. It is actually phenomenal. And it's got a lot of denseness to it on top of everything else. And of course, I've got all my toppings, all the goodies on here as well. Just a flavor explosion. There's really no bad way to make this because how you make it is your own. But I have to admit, guys, the pesto sauce along with that dough, very heavenly. And of course, caramelized goodness all around. You gotta love it. Yeah, this is actually made pretty incredible. And you know what? It kind of reminds me of a castle with a moat around it. I mean, as you guys saw in the prep, this thing was lined with mozzarella cheese going around the whole middle right there. And the fact that it was kind of raised to begin with because it's prepared the night before, by the time they put it into the oven, it's already that much more ahead of the game. And the end product, guys, is beautiful. The crust is amazing. And again, I'm gonna keep going because I really wanna keep going. This is delicious. Mmm, ma'am. Take a look at the nice browning on the bottom. It's toasted perfectly, not too overcooked, not too undercooked. And I have to admit, it really goes nice with all the caramelized goodness. And I can't stop showing this to you guys because it is really fantastic. It really is done well. And the way it's made in the pan 
is fantastic in and of itself. I would easily recommend the upcharge to get this. And guys, again, look at the size of the dough right there when it rises up fully. That is just a beautiful situation. Just delicious stuff. Okay, I gotta rip off this caramelized edge because I just gotta go into it. Hang on. Mmm. Worth it just for that. Yummy. And you know what, with the caramelized edge off, let's go for one more shot just to finish this one out so you can see the thickness of the dough itself. That is definitely deep dish style pizza, guys. Easy recommendation, and like I said, completely worth the upcharge. Give it a shot just once, you just might fall in love with it. I already have, it's delicious. And if I can just say, the extra virgin olive oil is definitely what you wanna go with with this one. It really brings out the flavor of that bread, and olive oil in general is just delicious with bread to begin with. All the other toppings on top of it, guys, just a huge flavor explosion, and again, caramelized edges for days. Truly worth it, it is really tasty. But I think you guys know that by now, considering I've been drilling that point home this whole review because it is really delicious. So overall, I'm gonna have to give the handcrafted deep dish pizza here at Pyology the obligatory 10 out of 10. And not just because I got all the toppings I knew I was gonna love on this one, it's because the crust itself truly delivers on what they're advertising and the flavor is really, really tasty on it, on top of the caramelized edges just being completely over the moon. So how could this not have scored high marks, especially considering it's minutes old as I'm reviewing this right now and it is super fresh on top of it. Just truly a delicious custom made pizza here at Pyology and I'm super glad that I gave this one a shot. Now the question is, are you gonna give it a shot? And for anyone who may have given it a shot already, what did you guys think of the overall quality? Is it worth the average $2 upcharge over the regular crust just to give it a go? Drop those comments down below and definitely let me know. And with that, this is Ian K closing out another episode of Peep This Out, bringing you brand new content every single week here on my channel. So while you stay tuned for the next review coming real soon, in the meantime, stay frosty. So as you all saw in the very beginning, they've got six brand new premium crusts to choose from here at Pyology. Is there anything else you think you might want me to check out? Drop some comments down below and definitely let me know. All right, guys, until next time, I'll talk to you soon.